He came out and he cried. And I was joyful that he made it here. Who's that cute boy? As quickly as a new life begins, he started getting sick. The universe reminds you it can end just as fast. His left side of his heart did not grow properly. The time was ticking. Yeah. Patience Klaus realized time was running out for her son, Mark Jr. He made it to about Christmas and he started deteriorating. <laughs> for nine months, Mark lived in limbo between life and death at Cincinnati Children's Hospital, waiting. Organ donation. They said that was his only chance. Mark needed a new heart. Denise Fargo doesn't just walk with grief. She carries it with her just about everywhere she goes. This is my baby Lena in her little urn. My heart is broken. When did you know that something was wrong with Lena? And Lena started throwing up without a fever and then she just went limp in my arms. And I gave her CPR. I gave her breath all the way to Corbin Hospital. I never stopped breathing for my baby. A shunt that was supposed to be flushing spinal fluid off of Lena's brain stopped working. And just months before her second birthday, <sighs> Lena was declared brain dead. I didn't want to let her go. And so she didn't. Instead, they let me lay in the bed with Lena and hold her all the way down. She held on by giving part of Lena to someone else. The surgical team was there to fly Lena's heart. It turns out Mark Jr. was that someone else. <laughs> when did you get the news? Two of the transplant team doctors came in. They said, there's a heart available. <laughs> and I was speechless. <laughs> it was the perfect timing. I don't know if he would have waited much longer. <laughs> So excited to see him. The two families haven't met. Then the destination is on the right. <laughs> Until now. Both mothers say they're right where they should be, in each other's arms. God's little miracle. It's just so precious. Lena didn't just save Mark Jr. When Lena was in the hospital and her brain went to sleep, I got to feeling like I was having a heart attack. As Lena was dying, doctors rushed her mother to another floor where blood work found cancer. Doctors say they caught it early. Lena saved your life. Yes, she did. Lena's our little hero. In a way, Mark is a hero too. Mark's alive because of Lena, but Lena's heart is beating because of Mark. He's now the keeper of Lena's heart. It's a precious gift to know that my baby's still alive. We're all family now. We're all tied together.